In this video, I'm going to show you how to create multi-select dependent drop-down in Google Sheet. For example, I'm going to select a continent here, let's say Europe. It will show me all of related country based on my drop-down table and I can easily select multiple options and it will work fine. If I select, let's say, South America, it will show me all of related country based on my drop down table and I can easily select multiple option or single option. Along with this, I will cover three important limitations. In my last video, when people add a row in between dependent drop down, they stop working. But in this method, if you insert a row and select, let's say Asia, it will show you exactly the same country based on drop down table and you can easily select multiple options. Even if you delete a row in between, dependent drop down will still work fine. Along with this, when people duplicate a tape dependent drop down will stop working. But in this method, if you simply right click duplicate a tape and simply rename in let's say March and delete all of these options here, the dependent drop down will still work fine. So I'm going to show you each and everything in this video. Consider I have the blank data sheet. The first thing I will simply click on B2, hit Control Shift down arrow key, Control Backspace key to move to the actor cell again. Click on data, data validation, add a rule, drop down from a range, click here, select data range, go to drop down table, click on A2, drag the mouse down and simply remove the end reference, hit OK and click done. Now, if I simply go to January tab, my continent drop down is ready and I can easily select the option I want. The next thing we need to create dependent drop down for our country column. So for this, I will simply right click on the very end column and insert column to the right. Here I will write a very simple formula, click equal, filter, open parenthesis, what range you want to filter. I will simply click on drop down table. In this case, I want to filter out the country column. So I will select the entire country column, hit comma. Whenever continent equal to, go to January tab again and select B2, simply close parenthesis and this formula will filter out all of the matching country based on our selected option. If I simply hit enter, you can see we get all of the matching country. If I change this to let's say Europe, you can see it's automatically filter out all of the country based on our selected option. The next thing we need to transpose these results from column into rows. So for this, I will simply type a very easy function transpose or you can simply type to row function as well, which is a new function. Simply open parenthesis and close parenthesis, hit enter. The next thing I can simply drag this formula and it will show me all of the matching country, but we need to avoid this drag and drop because maybe I can insert more row in future. So I don't need to drag and drop these result. So I will simply delete all of other formula and I will leave only the first formula. And now I will simply type a very easy function by row function open parenthesis what is the array you want to loop in this case i want to loop from b2 colon b mean i want to loop the entire column b hit comma and the next thing is we need to assign lambda open parenthesis what is the name for this whole range in this case i will simply specify x hit comma and now the formula is the same but instead of b2 we need to replace this with x and now simply close parenthesis for lambda and by row function and hit enter now what this function do this function loop through each and every row in column b and perform the same function and now you can see we don't have any formula here. We have ecto formula in only E2 cell and this work fine. Now the beauty of this function, for example, if I delete any of the row, it will still work fine. If I select, let's say option here, it will show me all of related country. 
now again if you delete this row this will stop working now to avoid this one we can simply select all of the entire function hit ctrl x remove the equal sign and simply click on e1 cell type equal vstack function open parenthesis what is the first range one in this case i will simply assign blank and for the second range i will simply ctrl v to paste my whole formula close parenthesis hit enter now if i simply delete this row you can see my function will still work fine so this is very very useful now we need to apply country dependent drop down so i will simply click on c2 hit control shift down arrow key control backspace key we have already data validation rule on the very right side i will simply click add a rule click drop down from a range select data range click here and now scroll a little bit and click on e2 cell drag the mouse to the very right side and simply remove the end reference in this case i will remove the edge and before entering you must need to type equal sign for this method and simply hit ok scroll a little bit to the downside and this is the new feature available in google sheet but if you click on advanced options if you simply click arrow format allow multiple selection is off you must need to select the chip option and now you can simply select allow multiple selection hit done and now if you simply go to column c our multi select dependent drop down is ready i can easily select the multiple options and in this case it will show me all of the matching country based on continent if i change this to let's say south america it will show me all of related options now the last thing we simply need to select entire column c and you can simply use mouse or you can simply use keyboard shortcut we need to select all of the column to the right side and simply right click and hide them this is how we can apply multi select dependent drop down and even if you right click duplicate this sheet let's say and i will rename this sheet let's say february my dependent drop down will still work fine i hope you enjoyed this video and learned something useful from this video if you like the video please subscribe my channel for more video if you have any specific question just write me comment thank you so much